Okay. Yeah, I'm done. Is this camera connected? You forget to connect this. Teach Avnish how to connect this camera in the morning. Yesterday, today, both the days not connected. Just have a look. Tell him. Okay, fine. Yeah, I've done it. Fine. You can minimize this. Okay, all of you. Uh, hi, good afternoon. Uh, for some of you, a very good morning here. If a watch is running behind, okay. So I'm good, Gaurav. I'm always good. Okay. Hi, Anu, Priya, Marnath. Hi. So welcome back. We have the next session today. So uh, 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 two things here. Uh, once you go back, do revise. Uh, make sure that you have made your some summaries and jottings. So which today or tomorrow we introduce that to you. Uh, some of you know this who have been the students with us since uh, October. Others who are joining me now, you need to stay back and uh, learn a bit about how to manage your class notes. Uh, that is the most important first step in your preparation. Usko aap compromise na karna. And the uh, second thing is, uh, I hope you have seen a syllabus properly now. Okay, syllabus, get familiar. Uh, all of you must have uh, your, uh, uh, you know, your, your, your uh, question bank with you. Uh, Pritam, can you arrange for that, please? Can you give everybody the question bank uh, if it is already done from our end? Uh, put it on the uh, Telegram channel and also for the students here. Uh, put it on the LMS. You need not give them a printout. Uh, they can take a... Yes. So, uh, uh, and all of you have access to the platform now? Yes. You know how to log in? Yes. Okay. Passwords are tick tock. Yes. If not, I'll call somebody who can help you. Anybody who has a tech issue, the first couple of days you might have a problem because of lack of familiarity. Otherwise, okay, it should be fine. It shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Pritam. Thank you so much. Yeah, sit down. So, we start from where we left yesterday. Uh, quickly revising, yesterday I was giving you a feel of what the scope of human geography is. Why should uh, population geography be part of geography? And uh, 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 appreciation of uh, that uh, geography is man environment. Uh, if you must study man environment, you must know how man impacts environment. You must know how environment impacts man in return. So, four five terms I had dropped. Uh, determinism, possibilism. I had given you this uh, terms like what is human ecology. A term bata diya. I'm not explained anything to you there. So, I just want you to get familiar first. Abo jaan lije. These are terms there. And then a list of names. Okay. Uh, Varenius, Kant, Humboldt, Ritter, Radzel. Uh, Vidal was an important name. Then I mentioned Karl Saur, uh, Harlem Barrows. The whole idea of uh, the welfare approach in geography is a quickly listing. What were the new terms we learned yesterday? One was, I said, man, environment, relationship. Uh, this is one of the important themes in geography. In this, uh, there is man who is impacted by environment. And there is, in, there is environment that is impacted by man. Okay, do you understand this now? Or uh, you say you have the concept of environmental uh, determinism. Uh, somebody asked me, sir, why did we develop the word called determinism and why do we call this as possibilism? So basically curious about the uh, roots of the words. Uh, determinism because uh, what is it that determines what you do and the factors outside you? The elements of the environment, elements of the natural world or conditions beyond you that determine what you do. Okay. And possibilism because anything is possible for man. So what I am doing, I am not no longer tied to the environmental controls. So possibilism ka matlab hai, okay, there are possibilities for me. When I say that, then I am not a slave of the nature. But when I say environment determines what I do, it means somewhere I'm reacting to environmental stimulus. So, uska roots hai. 
ठीक है यू अंडरस्टैंड दीज टू वर्ड देन आई गेव यू दिस वर्ड ऑफ दैट जोग्राफी इवेंचुअली इवॉल्व एज ओके द स्टडी ऑफ कल्चरल लैंडस्केप ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट है ओके जोग्राफी एज द स्टडी ऑफ अर्थ से अब बन गया जोग्राफी एज स्टडी ऑफ कल्चरल लैंडस्केप सो कल्चरल लैंडस्केप में वी हैव द नेचर एज मॉडिफाइड बाय द ह्यूमन एक्टिविटीज नेचर दैट इज ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड नेचर दैट इज कंप्लीटली ऑल्टर्ड इन सम वेज सो कल्चरल लैंडस्केप इज द टोटैलिटी ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट दैट वी लिव इन व्हिच इंक्लूड्स द फिजिकल नेचुरल वर्ल्ड एंड आल्सो द ह्यूमन एलिमेंट्स सो दिस वाज वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट्स देन आई गिव यू अ वर्ड कॉल्ड एज ह्यूमन इकोलॉजी okay that uh, study of uh, of earth should be like you are studying human ecology you are studying man in relationship to the abiotic and the biotic components of the nature man forest man river man wildlife man plants man vegetation man soil man air man atmosphere man antarctic man oceans these are relationships hai okay because you know ecology ka matlab hai relationships relationship between elements of environment abiotic biotic okay there is uh, some kind of food web there is some kind of energy flow usme aapne man bhi add kar diya the man is very much integral to the natural ecosystem okay and uh, so the concept of human ecology fir maine ek uh, uh, point use kiya tha that as geography was evolving in this direction there were phases when we debated about physical versus uh human geography ka dichotomy i think this term is understood now dichotomy ka matlab hota hai irreconcilable okay divisions the two divisions which you cannot reconcile ye pura alag hai okay you cannot uh, uh, merge them yin and the yang the dark and the and the bright and the day and the night okay what's living and non living that's something like dichotomy so there were people who thought the physical world and the human world are two different divisions they are they cannot be reconciled so that's a dichotomy but then we know that this was a very wrong idea okay only a few people have talked about it two of them i mentioned george gerland and oscar peschel then i said as this concept was developing then we had some debates about ki environment is also okay inclusive of a uh, perceived environment okay what man thinks what man feels what man believes okay your mental images also matter and in reality the fact is when you are working in environment it's rarely you are responding to a real environment you actually responding to the assumptions and notions you have about the environment jab aap dosti bhi karte hain kisi se okay it is rare that we take the person as who or she is you react and respond you interact with assumption ki wo aisa hoga therefore i am doing this okay ye it is reality of human uh, uh, behavior so what our actions are and what we do usme perceptions ka bahut important role hai the huge role of perceptions the huge role of what man thinks there is an important element of cognition important element of our learnings that comes from our belief systems our cultural uh, upbringing our traditions like ek time tha when a science said like okay, i'm just digressing a bit okay there was a time when science said that we will not study anything that is not quantifiable that is not objective that cannot be seen measured heard okay that is not science that is negative usko hum padhenge hi nahi and we will read what can be measured what can be objective divide, say uh, say defined so science removed the idea called as religions science removed the idea called as okay uh, feelings beliefs okay so you scientific man ka matlab ho gaya you are a mathematical man you are a man of physics you are a man of objectivity you are a man who can be quantified so the wall is white okay yes e objective hai but white is beautiful matlab ye science nahi hai 
ब्यूटिफुल इज अ सब्जेक्टिव आइडिया ना उसका हटाओ फिर नो नथिंग दैट इज डिबेटेबल दिस बिल्डिंग इज अगे फाइव और सिक्स फीट टॉल दैट्स ओके ओके बट दिस बिल्डिंग इज स्कैरी स्कैरी हटाओ बिकॉज दिस इज डिबेटेबल साइंस ऐसा था बट नाउ वी से दैट द रियलिटी इज यू कैनॉट रिमूव फीलिंग्स फ्रॉम द स्टडीज यू कैनॉट रिमूव रिलीजन बिलीफ ट्रेडिशन बिकॉज दे एक्चुअली कंट्रोल योर रियल लाइफ तो अब उसमें बहुत डिबेट चल रहे हैं ओके एनी वे जस्ट नो दैट so perception mental images perceptions your feelings your beliefs also matter this became a different type of geography what we call as the behavioral geography we'll come back on this afterwards fir the the debate was towards that can we use geography for some kind of applied benefits kya ka geography jante hain geography tells us where we can have earthquakes so why can't i use geography for earthquake planning geography tells us where we have floods so can i use geography for flood management geography tells us when we can have el nino so why can't we plan our agriculture according to geographical ideas that's called as applied approach so you are using geography now for welfare okay you are using geography for development and इन वेलफेयर डेवलपमेंट बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है दैट यू हैव टू कंसिडर एनवायरमेंटल प्रॉब्लम्स जोग्राफी एंड अर्बन मैनेजमेंट सच एज एयर पोल्यूशन को डील करो जोग्राफी एंड लैंड मैनेजमेंट लेट अस डील विद द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ सॉइल से इरोशन और पोल्यूशन जोग्राफी एंड वाटर मैनेजमेंट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट वाटर कंटेमिनेशन एंड वाटर मिस सो एनवायरमेंट देखो कैसे चेंज हो रहा है What began as कि man should be there or not a man के साथ में look at the dimensions we have got into it is this applied approach in geography which is I think I mentioned this word yesterday did I no uh, only called as welfare geography welfare geography is environment studies in a different way so ये जो process है this is the evolution of geography as a subject and when I'm doing all of this i hope you all realize that this cannot be done okay by excluding population studies so har jagah culture aa raha hai ek perception mein culture hai okay talk about benefits usme population hai environmental problems the reason is definitely the people who use it you talking about uh, uh, human ecology yahan bhi log aa rahe hain so if you look at all of this we say an important aspect of human geography is the component of population and the elements that define the population population growth population size population composition population and migration population and their development welfare that's how we have the domain of population geography is it okay so i hope i have uh, at least given you some uh, base of why population is an important part of ज्योग्राफिकल स्टडीज तो ये ये ऐसे कंसेप्ट हैं इफ यू डू नॉट नो दिस विथ अ लेवल ऑफ कन्विक्शन एंड यू आर आस्ट ऑन दिस यू ऑलवेज विल है प्रॉब्लम इंटरव्यू का सोचो आप आई मीन इंटरव्यू चेयरमैन आई मीन आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू गेट टू सी क्वालिफाई करो ना करो एज ए डिफरेंट थिंग ओके आठ सौ नौ सौ हजार बच्चे इट्स ओके इट्स क्वाइट अ चैलेंज okay you all try i'm okay i'm sure we should make it to some extent but all of you must aim ki interview to pakka dena hai okay because interview mein you have got good number of people who who, who give the interview and interview mein these questions are very important why have you taken geography what does geography study okay why do you think this is part of geography okay what are the benefits of geography and people falter here aur impression kya milta hai isse and this guy Who has come to become a collector and IAS and an IPS and you know policy planning? He has no idea about what he is studying. Mechanically, घुस गया दुकान के अंदर में जो मिला ले लिया. Okay, he was lucky in some ways, managed, निकल आया. But he does not have the basic element. वो basic uh, uh, you know roots नहीं हैं. Okay, in terms of analytical skills. 
ओके क्यों लिया जोग्राफी पापा ने बोल दिया क्यों लिया जोग्राफी बिकॉज मार्क्स आ जाते हैं क्यों लिया जोग्राफी बिकॉज आसान है वॉट ए पैथेटिक एंसर नो ओके दीज आर एंसर ओके फॉर समी यूज अ फ्रेशर यू मस्ट आर्ग्यू विद एक्साइटमेंट कि जोग्राफी सर ये ये पढ़ता है जोग्राफी डज दिस जोग्राफी इज इन टू दिस एंड दिस इज वाई आई थिंक इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ आवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग जोग्राफी एज डेवलपमेंट जोग्राफी अप्रिशिएट्स लोकेशन इफ आई वॉन्ट टू नो द कंट्री वेल जोग्राफी इज वेर द एंसर्स लाइफ जोग्राफी इज अबाउट पीपल अबाउट प्लेसेज सो आपके आंखों में भी वो दिखना चाहिए एक्साइटमेंट कि वाह दिस समथिंग रियली हैव लर्न That's how they differentiate, no? And what, in other words, we say authenticity. You are an authentic person. You are a person who is original. When, when you appreciate and you consciously know why you have got into what you have got into, not mechanically. So these conversations will give you that base: the importance of geography, the relevance of human geography, the 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 apply applied nature of geography, and so on. ठीक है, तो दिस वाज़ द लिस्ट ऑफ़ टर्म्स दैट आई डिस्कस यस्टरडे एंड यस्टरडे वी आल्सो हैड सम कन्वर्सेशन अराउंड सम ऑफ़ दोस नेम्स सो नेम्स आपको याद रखना होगा आई स्टार्टेड विद दिस मैन कॉल्ड एस बर्नार्ड वरेनियस वी टॉक्ड अबाउट इमानुएल कांट वी टॉक्ड अबाउट अलेक्सेंडर हम्बोल Excellent. We talked about Karl uh, uh, Ritter. We talked about Frederick Radzel. Okay. Then we talked about Vidal Lablash. Okay. We talked about Karl Sauer and uh, Harlem Harlem Barrows. E name say? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Later on. uh two more people uh oscar peschel and uh, george gerland george gerland theek okay? hai um some of you uh, will have an issue with this and one of you also came to me sir ye naam kaise yaad rahenge beta jab jaan pe aayegi na to udna bhi seekh jaoge par nikal aayenge apne aap okay you must have that drive कि इंपॉर्टेंट है तो करना है दैट्स इट नो क्वेश्चन आस्ट ओके एवरीथिंग कैन नॉट बी गिवन इन अ कन्वीनियंट फॉर्म अंडरस्टैंड यू आर गोइंग आफ्टर ए कोविटेड एग्जामिनेशन अ कोविटेड जॉब ओके ऐसे ही चलते फिर सब बन जाते तो नुक्कड़ में आई ही घूम रहे होते कोई आई कोई आई बोल रहा है कि सर चना खाएंगे सर मैं बेस ना हूं कोई आई बोल रहा है सर चाय अच्छा बनाता हूं ओके okay, बैठ जाइए मेरा रिक्शा है छोड़ देता हूं मेट्रो ऐसे घूम रहे होते हैं घूम रहे होते राइट इट्स अ कोविटेड जॉब एंड इट्स नॉट गोइंग बी इजी दैट्स इट्स कोविटेड तो ये पार्ट ऑफ योर रोल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है ओके तो डोंट आस्क मी याद कैसे रख याद रखने का दो ही तरीका है ओके यू मस्ट हैव द इंटेंशन ऑफ रिमेम्बरिंग इट एंड नंबर टू यू मस्ट गुड एफर्ट्स इन रिमेम्बरिंग इट अब प्यार कैसे किया जाता है वोट ए पैथेटिक क्वेश्चन दे ओके लगाओ तेल निकलेगा पापड़ बेल हो गए ओके सो देर आर देर आर वेज यू विल यू विल अल्टीमेटली ओके डिस्कवर फॉर योर सेल्फ नो याद नहीं होता उसका तो मेरे लिए एक ही आंसर है पैक अप गो टेक अ जॉब एंड गेट मैरिड फिर आप गलत लाइन में आ गए सर है ना एक और बड़ा इंटरेस्टिंग है ना आई यू ऑल विल नो आई टॉक अबाउट वेरी ऑफन मोस्ट ऑफ देम उससे याद नहीं होता आर साइंस स्टूडेंट्स The exalted superior beings है इंजीनियरिंग से आए हैं सर याद नहीं होता सब समझ आ जाता है मेरा क्वेश्चन होता है बेटा बताओ मुझे पाई को कैसे समझे थे है ना पाई यस वो बड़ा का कोई एंड भी नहीं है इसने क्या समझ लिए थे यार क्या उखाड़ लिया था ट्वेंटी बाई सेवन क्या समझा था ओके सर रूट थ्री का वैल्यू क्या समझ लिया था आपने ओके आई आस टेल मी दॉल्यूम और एरिया ऑफ अ सिलेंडर सर याद नहीं है मैंने क्यों याद करने की जरूरत क्या थी आपको ओके पाई आर स्क्वायर एच एज द सरफेस एरिया क्यों याद करोगे आप तो समझ लेते हो ना राइट द बिगेस्ट लाई ओके इंजीनियर टेल दम सेल्स एंड लिव इट इज दे हैव एनालिटिकल माइंड ओके एंड दैट दे कांट रिमेंबर 
मैंने इतना बड़ा झूठ यू लिव इट ऑल्सो मैक्सिमम मेमोराइजेशन साइंस स्टूडेंट्स डू मैक्सिमम मेमोराइजेशन ओके क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन में क्या समझ लिए थे यार सम ऑफ यू फ्रॉम साइंस बैकग्राउंड फोर ईयर सीरीज जानते हो ना आज समझ भी नहीं आया वो क्यों पढ़ाया गया था ओके बायोनोमियल थ्योरम्स पाइथागोरस थ्योरम क्या समझ लिया था आपने यस प्लीज एक्सेप्ट दैट एक्चुअली पीपल हु डोंट मेमोराइज आर द ह्यूमैनिटीज गाइस एंड खास कर लिटरेचर गाइस लिटरेचर गाइस को गिव हिम वन पैराग्राफ उससे मीनिंग निकालेंगे ओके साइंस वाले रट्टे वाले हो तुम लोग यार जिंदगी का डट्टा मार के काटा तुम लोगों ने फॉर्मूला रट्टा मार मार के मैथमेटिक्स का इंटीग्रेशन डिफ्रेंशिएशन में क्या दिमाग लगाते हो बताओ लेट अस हाँ यार मैं भी उसी प्रोसेस का कैजुअलिटी हूं रजत ओके दुखती रख पे हाथ रख दिया तुमने आई वॉन्ट टू फॉरगेट इट बट यू गैस रिमाइंड मी एवरी टाइम ओके सो स्टॉप फूलिंग योर सेल्फ यू ऑल हैव द कैपेसिटी टू मेमोराइज अगर नहीं होता है ड्रॉप दिस एग्जामिनेशन ये एग्जाम आपके लिए है ही नहीं आप तो पुरुष ही नहीं हो ना महापुरुष हो okay, ये सब पुरुष लोगों के लिए है हमें इंसानों के लिए है आप जाओ गो गो स्वामी नित्यानंद डीप एनालिसिस लिटरेचर का यस आई हैव लॉट ऑफ रिस्पेक्ट फॉर लिटरेचर स्टूडेंट्स बिकॉज ओके उनको सेंटेंसेस पढ़ के मजा आ जाता है कोई डायग्राम नहीं कोई फोटोग्राफ नहीं ओके नो स्केचेस ओके एंड यू एंजॉय अल्टीमेट लेवल ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस आई से एक तो है ना किसी को थप्पड़ मार के रुला दिया चाकू दिखा के डरा दिया okay, मुस्कुरा के okay, ललचा दिया लिटरेचर गाइस वर्ड लिख के okay, आपको गुमराह कर देंगे राइट वन सेंटेंस मतलब जिंदगी में लट्टू घूम रहे हो कि मुझे यार एक शायरी लिख के दे दिया था यस जैसे अलग लेवल ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस अंडरस्टैंड दैट ओके आई कैन इंप्रेस यू विथ स्केच विथ सेंटेंस okay which has no form no shape and i have decided that i can literally influence the generations of one sentence poets aise bhi tha is bar okay poets are unsung legislators of society laws ka genesis hota hai poetry mein okay and they are the first people who start revolutions and changes hamare national movement mein you have the henry de rosio और थिंक अबाउट आवर सरोजिनी नायडू ओके ये पोएट्स से एंड दे ड्राइव रेवल्यूशन दिस मैन एरिस्टोटल सेट दिस वन पोएट्स शुड बी रिस्पेक्टेड गार्लेंडेड एंड देन किक्ट आउट सोसाइटी यू नो वाई सर दे आर दू कैन चेंज सोसाइटी अगर आप किंग हो देन गेट द पोएट्स आउट पोएट्स सोचते हैं ना ओके वो आराम से भक्त थोड़ी बनते हैं वो सोचते हैं थिंग कुमार विश्वास दिस गाइज आर थिंकर्स ओके दे चैलेंज ओके दस वाई से इमेंस रिस्पेक्ट फॉर ओके लिटरेचर गाइज डेट आई कन्विंस यू गाइज ओके नो बडी एवर विल आस मी याद कैसे होगा अगर जान पे आएगी ना सब होगा अपना खून भी पी जाओगे काट कर इफ रिक्वायर्ड इज समथिंग ऑफ दैट काइंड यू पुट एफर्ट्स रिवाइज मेमोराइज ओके यू विल रिमेंबर यू हैव गॉट नो अदर चॉइस अगर भूल हो गए दोबारा याद करो दैट सिंपल एज दैट ओके आई थिंक सम ऑफ यू रिमेंबर द नेम्स नाउ ओके वरेनियस अंकल से ओके भतीजा जॉर्ज जर्लैंड कर दिया एक्सीलेंट ओके सो दैट वाज क्विक समराइजेशन ऑफ व्हाट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड यस्टरडे एनीबॉडी हैज एनी क्वेश्चंस ऑन व्हाट आई हैव डिस्कस्ड एनीबॉडी हर क्लास में पहला 15 20 मिनट ओके वी स्पेंड रिवाइजिंग व्हाट वी हैव डन ओके Any questions here? Online, offline? Any doubts here? No doubts. Wow, I'm bloody good. Okay, but I want to believe you are okay. Smarter, understanding things. Man, environment versus mental. Versus, नहीं है. Environment includes mental perception also. Or में ये और नहीं है. ये वाला और है. Hindi वाला. एंड देर इज नो और हियर तो एनवायरमेंट के अलग अलग डायमेंशन है वन इंपॉर्टेंट डायमेंशन एनवायरमेंट इज योर थॉट ओके द थॉट इज वॉट गिवस मीनिंग्स टू द एनवायरमेंट दैट यू हैव द मेंटल परसेप्शन 
is also an important part of environment based analysis anybody else okay fine so we enter the next discussions i am back in uh, uh, human geography okay our uh, uh, unit is uh, population geography i am discussing uh, man and human aspects a man and human aspects mein sabse pehle janna hoga evolution of man ye bhi aapka syllabus ka part hai evolution of man okay because see how i interact with the environment is also a function of my evolution and my historical change think of when okay i was uh, the man maybe 1000 years ago i was the man 10000 years ago i was the man 1 lakh years ago i was a man evolving from the great apes our interactions environment was very different oscar peschel was against inclusion uh, human yes yes correct surya oscar peschel yaar kuch bhi panjil kuch bhi likh diya aapne okay peschel uh, i am very sensitive to some of the spellings okay and uh, uh, this is true for the examiners also anyways you are trying to answer surya yes he was against the idea of geography including human geography he felt geography should be physical geography alone and that human aspects were different domain which had no relationship with geographical studies okay i said so okay that's beside the point uh, the name please remember the spelling oscar peschel a german who was also the professor of uh, you know geography in university in germany and he was one of those big heads after humboldt and, and ritter oscar peschel okay so what i'm saying is why why should we study man's evolution because our interaction with the environment is a function of our own evolution and development it's a function of how man evolved and as we keep on changing so also our environment will change and not just that linked to evolution is man's migration also all of us probably have a fair idea that uh, most agree man's evolution started from africa okay and then slowly gradually this african species okay early human uh, species they spread towards europe towards uh, south asia and they and they expanded and as they expand they are migrating okay and they are impacting the environment so i need to know a bit about the origin of the human race uh, human species and how the race has got differentiated ठीक है, we we'll start. So some of the the topics syllabus mein hai, others we are doing it because they are part of the relevant conversation. Okay, now, uh, if you look at the evolution, uh, there was a phase when we had uh, uh, we had uh, uh, you know uh, uh, primates. Uh, primates का मतलब है monkeys, chimpanzees. okay so all of those species are called as primates okay and from the primates okay primates okay uh, will include monkeys and from the primates we start having what's called as the apes apes like uh, gorilla uh, you have got uh, orangutan you have got gibbons gibbon one type of apes we have got bonobos chimpanzees ye apes hain and from the apes one branch first separated out okay uh, they called as gibbons uh, gibbons pehle alag ho gaye and then the apes okay uh, they are called as uh, great apes great apes maybe because they are large and maybe because they are the roots of the modern man okay gibbons are referred to as the lesser apes the lesser apes okay now from the great so great apes me uh we have we have uh, um uh, i said uh, gorilla 
ओके उसमें दो तीन टाइप्स के हैं वी हैव चिंपैनजीज वी हैव ओरेंग यूटैन वन ऑफ द इंडेंजर्ड स्पीसीज हैं यू फाइंड देम इन पार्ट्स ऑफ इंडोनेशिया बोर्नियो ओके द ऑरेंज ओल्ड मैन ओके यस ओरेंग यूटैन वी आल्सो हैव अ स्मॉलर चिंपैनजी लाइक कॉल्ड एज बोनोबोज इन फैक्ट अमंग देम uh bonobos are considered to be more human like they have very strong human feelings they actually can laugh and cry and emote and show anger okay they can be trained okay so these are called as iske bhi do teen variety hain in total we have got six seven great apes now from this great apes and uh, this group uh, is sometimes referred to as a uh, hominide hominide Uh, or what we know as hominids hominids uh, now from the hominids uh, isme fir ek branching hua okay uh, ek aur branch hua okay so one branching out uh, this was the direction of the evolution of man Uh, this branching uh, we go towards orang utans orang utans uh, ye bahut alag type ke apes hain and we have the other apes these are the other other uh, uh, great apes so remember this uh, tree uh, in uh, human evolution okay we have primates primates are all monkeys Okay, all monkeys, langurs, and uh, uh, great macaw. Okay, all the monkeys you can think of. They are primates, baboons. Okay, primates say evolution was apes. Okay, uh, from the apes, one branch is gibbons branch. Okay, this is these are called as lesser apes. Okay, and uh, uh, great apes, great apes includes I said four or five names. ग्रेट एप्स में गिबॉन्स नहीं आते हैं एंड दे आर कलेक्टिवली कॉल्ड एज होमिनिड्स और होमिनिडे फैमिली द होमिनिडे ग्रुप ओके इससे फिर ब्रांचिंग हुआ ओके ओरेंग यूटैन का अलग ब्रांच हो गया मैन का एवोल्यूशन वाज अनदर पैथ एंड द अदर ग्रेट एप्स इसमें चिंपैनजी है है इसमें गोरिलास है इसमें बोनोबोज है chimpanzees gorillas and bonobos b o n o b o online are you all with me online are you all with me keep saying yes no hi hello okay i know that uh, you are uh, i'm transmitting uh, buff not i not buffering okay streaming is fine okay great excellent fine thank you so bana lijiye isko please मेक दिस ठीक है एंड वाई ग्रेट एप्स किसी ने पूछा था बिकॉज मे बी दे आर लार्ज आई डोट नो वॉट इज द एटीमोलॉजी ऑफ दैट मे बिकॉज वो लार्ज है प्लस मे बी दे आर रिलेटिवली मोर इंपॉर्टेंट टूवर्ड्स मैं सेवल्यूशन सो ग्रेट एप्स गिबॉन्स आर लेसर एप्स ये जो मैन का जो आर्म है दिस आर्म इज रिफर टू एज the arm of the hominins hominid is not same as hominin h o m i n i n okay yeah i'll, I'll come to that they are called as hominins branch the hominins branch theek hai and ye primates ka evolution uh if you look at the time okay uh this is approximately uh, in the uh, cenozoic times uh, around you can say uh, 60 65 million years ago us time mein ho raha hai the cenozoic times okay approximate time i will uh, detail what i need eventually orangutans o r a n g u t a n orangutans orangutans 
Okay, it, it translates as the old man because this actually looks like an old man. Okay, uh, orangish, yellowish uh, uh, body hair. Okay, some drooping posture. A uh, very thoughtful type ka okay, fish expressions hota hai. So it translates in Indonesia mein as the old man. Yes, hominins. H-O-M-I-N-I-N-S. Hominins. All done here? So I will focus on the hominins now. But this is more important. This for sake of understanding. Okay. So let's come towards hominins now. So uh, this is the hominin wala, okay, a stream uh, from which uh, the great apes, okay, uh, and you have the uh, orang, sorry, from which uh, somewhere orang utan is separating out, okay, and uh, somewhere isi may say he pelehi, the gibbons have already been separated out. This is the uh, gibbons wala branch separating out. Okay, this is the orang utans, and this is the uh, other uh, uh, great apes. Okay, so I'm talking about the branch uh, that is do with the hominins. Okay, now this process may uh, one of the first hominins is a life form, a species called as, okay, uh, Australopithecus. Australopithecus. And the first species called Australopithecus. And this is as early as, again, times, mena, we always give a broad range. As much as almost 4 million years ago. Australopithecus. Yehominin ka beginning hai. Australopithecus. Almost 4 million years ago. 3, 3.5, 4 million years ago. This was the first one. Iske baad, uh, another uh, species from which happens, it was called as Homo habilis. Hain bahut sare, but I'll focus on the more important ones for now. We have got a Homo uh, habilis. Homo habilis. Uh, these are one of those first uh, uh, users of primitive tools. Homo habilis among the first uh, uh, users of the primitive tools, as in uh, stones use kar rahe hai, sticks use kar rahe hai. Homo habilis. Homo habilis approximately around, uh, you can say, 3 million years ago. About uh, 3 million years ago. Again, I said 2, 2.5, uh, 2.8, 3 million years ago. Take Australopithecus and Homo habilis. Likha apne? Australopithecus. Os. Australopithecus, uh, Homo habilis, Homo habilis, take around uh, 3 million years ago. Then we have a uh, Homo erectus, this was a major one, Homo uh, erectus uh, or almost easy time mein, I'll add one more name and uh, Homo uh, ergaster Homo ergaster so I'm talking about approximately around uh, 1.8 uh, about 2.5 million years ago Homo erectus and Homo ergaster. Homo erectus and Homo ergaster. This Homo ergaster is the first species to migrate out of Africa and they spread more towards Europe. Homo ergasters was among the first to move out of Africa. 
and they spread towards Europe. And Ergaster also, okay, was uh, among the first to use fire. Uh, the first to move, move uh, out of Africa. To move out of Africa. Homo ergaster, E R G A S T E R, and Homo erectus. Now, from this, uh, you, you have you heard about what's called as Java man and Peking man? Because fossils are found in parts of Java, Java is in Indonesia, okay, Peking as in Beijing or uh, uh, you know, China. Mein. So, what the species mila hai fossils, wo Homo erectus ka mila hai. Okay, this is uh, the Java man. The Java man. Uh, this is the uh, Peking man. Peking man in China. How do they know Satvik? This is anthropology. Now you have to tell me. Name, Jano. Where is it? Okay, the whole answer will get a little bit more. How do we know? How this all reconstruction? Some of which also is challenged. Uh, they keep on changing some of the discussions. Abbas ye naam jane. So, yes. Biped uh, from Erectus, yes. Okay, Habilis had started, but uh, Emo Erectus was more okay, erect, as in uh, biped locomotion, yes. Okay. Java man? Peking man. P-E-K-E-K-I-N-G. -E -E Peking. Peking is the old name of Beijing. Peking man. No, not only Priya, but from Ergaster, the process has started. Ergaster moved towards Europe. Ergaster moved towards Europe. They spread elsewhere also, but they also moved towards Europe largely. Okay, so 1.8 uh, to 2.5 million years ago. So, ye ek phase hai. this is one phase in the evolution. Iske baad, Okay, uh, if you have no space, you can take up my next page. Don't make it clumsy. Okay, I'll keep on building on this, uh, three, four layers more. Okay, but you don't have to make it clumsy. So, ek ka le lo. And when you go back home and summarize, then you can make it clumsy. Okay, ergaster, erectus and homo ergaster, E-R-G-A-S-T-E-R, -E homo ergaster. Iske baad, we have one of the major okay, uh, hominins called as the Neanderthal man. The Neanderthal man. Neanderthal insists, but Neanderthal man. Uh, we're talking about approximately about uh, four to five lakh years ago. It's a million years, 1.8 million years. Okay, three million years. This is approximately about uh, four to five lakh years. So four hundred thousand years, uh, five hundred thousand years. The Neanderthal man. Uh, this is considered to be one of the closest uh, species to man, the Neanderthal man. And Neanderthal man again, uh, mainly in ka jo movement tha in Europe tha. So most of the European races okay, have their roots in the Neanderthal man. Neanderthal man. Okay, this was mainly in parts of Europe. I'll show the map me how they moved. Okay, so Europe may find the remains, remains most of the Neanderthal man. Now, yahase, then you have the evolution of the modern man. Modern man, jo hum bol rahe, Homo sapiens sapiens. This Homo sapiens sapiens, this appeared around uh, 300,000 to approximately around 200,000 years ago. So 3 lakh to 2 lakh years ago. So modern man is uh, a Homo sapien, uh, sapiens sapiens. Neanderthal man, 
and the modern man. Modern man ke evolution was approximately around uh, 300,000 uh, or uh, around 200,000 or 3 lakhs to 2 lakh years. Oh, Harshit, I didn't know that. Harshit says that Neanderthal man, a name is from a cave called as Neander Cave in Germany. Fine, fine, okay, good, nice. So they must have named it. In fact, I'll talk about one more species. Ye abhi discover hua hai, as late as 2010, 2015 ki baat ho hai. Uh, a species called as uh, a, 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 a Denosovian. Okay, it's a lot news. Mein hai. Uh, yes, in parts of Russia, Siberia, mein, there's a Denosovia ek cave. Hai, wahan si mila tha. And that too, they got uh, a female of the species called this little finger. And from the DNA mapping, they're constructing what uh, the Denosovian man may have looked like. Okay, uske abhi discover a lot of debates about Uthabi ki nahi and so on. Okay, so Neanderthal man and the modern man, Homo sapiens sapiens. Now, uh, just for a uh, sake of important point here, that uh, uh, these two species, these two species, they are known to have lived together also. They are known to have uh, cohabited. Uh, cohabited, they are known to have uh, interbred. In ki in interbreeding bhi hui thi. Okay. Ultimately, Neanderthal man goes extinct and this one stays. But our genetic map may we find genes of Neanderthal man also. Okay. So the Homo sapiens sapiens, the modern man and the Neanderthal man in all probability had cohabited. They had lived together. They also interbred. They had common offsprings. Okay. But of the two, uh, this was having a higher cranial capacity. In the brain bigger tha. Better thinking, better logic, more smarter. But these were more stronger. Bulk was, okay, body bulk was more here. So they used to have a lot of fights, a okay, lot of conflicts. And ultimately, Neanderthal man goes extinct. And further, next one, likwa. The modern man, okay, around, uh, okay, I said around uh, 10,000 years ago, around uh, uh, 10,000 years ago, the modern man, the modern man, okay, developed its racial distinctive features. It developed its uh, uh, racial uh, uh, distinctive uh, features and, and uh, its uh, uh, racial diversity. The Mongoloids, Protoastroloids, Arminoids, Caucasoids. You know the name of the Negritos. These are some races. Hai. Like India has a mix of many races. Mongoloids are one race. We are Mediterraneans as one race, Indo-Aryans as one race. The racial diversity hai, around 10,000 years ago, it got crystallized. Ye ban gaya, properly established. Fine, all of you. And just for sake of an addition, I said that this branch of evolution, mein, uh, the, the uh, old, uh, older species, older species ke evolution, mein, uh, somewhere, uh, Neanderthal man separated out and the modern man separated out. Modern man. And Neanderthal man ke hi branch se. Uh, there was one more branch called as, I said, Denosovians. Denosovians. Okay. Uh, Denosovians, uh, this was discovered recently. Uh, discovered uh, uh, recently, as late as uh, uh, 2010. Ye kafi news mein hai. Uh, in your GS and etc. I think Pushawa question we had GS prelims mein. Denosovians. D E N O S O V I uh, uh, A N S. Denosovians. Okay. And uh, Denosovians uh, and Neanderthal, uh, we do not know if they were interbreeding or not. But itna pata hai that the modern man and Denosovians, they have lived together. 
till as late as 40,000 years ago, 6,000 years ago, they have been together. In fact, uh, uh, in the human species, uh, negritos, negritos, and we have a species called as proto uh, australoids. In names like those, these two have a lot of genes of Denisovians. I repeat. I repeat. Okay, I said there was the older species. Older species. You say evolution was. Okay, and there was some point where the branching out happens. Okay, the Neanderthal man branching and the uh, modern man ka branching. But I, what I'm saying is, from the Neanderthal man, say a core branch banata, another branch here called as the Denosovians. Denosovians. Okay, now we do not know much. I was reading about them. Okay, whether Denosovians and Neanderthal did they cohabit or not? But we have evidences of the Denosovians and the modern man, they cohabiting. Means living together. Uh, cohabit, interbeat ka matlab hai, they must have had intersexual relationships. That's how you have the races and the species evolving. Okay, so these two have lived together. And in the species like, uh, sorry, in the races like Negritos, uh, negri have, you, have you heard about pygmies? Pygmies, suna apne? pygmies are examples of negritos. India may have you heard have you heard about sentinelese? Yeah, they are Andaman Nicobar. Mein. They are negritos. Uh, we say birhors hai, in parts of uh, Odisha, birhors. They are negritos. So we'll do this eventually, but uh, for your sake of uh, uh, some clarity. Examples of negritos, I said, okay, are, are uh, uh, pygmies. Uh, pygmies of uh, Congo Basin, India, mein, uh, sentinelis are negritos. Uh, birhors, birhor tribes, very primitive tribes in parts of Odisha, they are okay, negritos. Uh, people of uh, uh, the central Indian hills, if you know about Oraos, so now you know Oraos, Oraos, uh, uh, Munda tribes. Okay, they have more uh, 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 familiarity uh, features with the protoastroids. So these species, they have uh, the genes of uh, Denisovians. Yes, yes, yes. Correct, Pranshu. Correct. Uh, Surya, ye baad mein. what is the reason of racial diversity? Uh, is a conclusive answer, nahi hai, but yes, environmental factors must have played an important role. And maybe some type of mutation also, we do not know. We'll come back afterwards on this. Likli aap logo ne, all of you? Likho fir, if you're not missed out. Denosovians, Neanderthal man, Homo sapiens sapiens, Negritos, protoastroloids, and some species I've mentioned. Okay, so this is the way the uh, human uh, species evolution. Remember some of the names here. All fine. So important point of discussion here is, you online, is it okay now? Protoastroloids, not astroloids, they're protoastroloids. So orangs, O-R-A-O-N-S. Oraos, Munda tribe, you have got, uh, uh, you have got uh, Khond tribes. Okay, they're all protoastroids. So they are Central India, mein, part of Odisha, part of a uh, Jharkhand region. You find this, yes? Uh, yes, yes, yes. The good range of Central Indian tribes. Yes. Isi se hi aapka ultimately uh, familiarity hoga. Uh, with the Dravidian races also. Yes, they make up a good chunk of uh, Indian races. Can I move on, all of you? Online, is it okay? Online, is it okay now? Okay, fine. Now, what you should know is two, three things. Uh, one thing you should all know is that uh, uh, human species, uh, uh, human species, uh, had 
already uh, started uh, to exist exist uh, since since the ice ages anybody knows ice age okay we have a phase called as the pleistocene ice age okay this uh, started around uh, 2 uh, 2.5 uh, million years ago ye khatam kab hua the last when it finished yes approximately till around 10000 or 11000 years ago tak this was an ice age so ice age mein we already had human species important point hai okay so we know about a uh, time division called as holocene anybody knows when holocene starts okay around the end of this so iske 11000 years maan lo okay holocene starts holocene starts around 11700 years ago round off kar lo so before holocene the human species existed they were there that is one important uh, point here second important point uh, that the human species the a uh, human species uh, coexisted or cohabited cohabited uh, with with the neanderthal man and the uh, denosovian and the denosovians the human species the modern homo sapiens sapiens they coexisted with the neanderthal man and with okay the denosovians and the denosovians like aapne uh, pranshu the first example of negrito was i said pygmies the pygmies of the congo basin pygmies pygmies are short statured people 3 and 1/2 4 feet high okay dark skin frail bodies they are hunters and gatherers they live in the congo basin okay pygmies one type of people theek hai so pygmies are negritos don't confuse negros and negritos okay the right word is negroids okay wala log hai they are much much taller more muscular more strong built think of people of sudan okay so they are they are negroids hum baat kar rahe hain about Neg negrito, which are pygmies. Is it clear? You guys all done here? Okay. Next, the third point. The third point here is the modern man. The modern man, uh, in terms of in terms of uh, a social evolution. Okay. uh includes includes the early man okay or who used who used uh stone tools this is what's called as the paleolithic times modern man in terms of social evolution okay Uh, includes early man who used stone tools okay we call this as paleolithic times okay and remember for a second information uh, jo denosovian the the denosovians they existed they existed in the late uh, paleolithic times the denosovians they existed in the late paleolithic times modern man in terms of social evolution includes the early man who used stone tools 
Okay, we call this as the Paleolithic age. No, usme bhi fir early hai, late hai, okay, and so on. And the Denisovians, okay, they were in the late Paleolithic times. Is happening before ten thousand years ago. Okay. The next point is the next point is uh, around around ten thousand uh, years ago. 10,000 years ago, the modern man learned, learned use and control of fire and learned and learned agriculture. Around 10,000 years ago, okay, or 10,000, 11,000 years ago, learns the use and the control of fire and also learnt agriculture. So, this phase hai, this is what is called as, yes, called as the Neolithic times. What is this? Agriculture has Mesolithic, it gets more established. The beginnings is not same as when it gets established a proper pattern. Haan, I mean, say, agriculture is not only crops. Agriculture ke char forms. Hai. Okay, crops, hai, fisheries, hai, livestock, hai, forestry. Bhi hai. Hai? The domestication is part of the first phases of okay, uh, your agriculture. But as any domestication, Okay, we have got some examples of domestication even during okay, the earlier times than this. But here it becomes a proper established okay, way of life. Okay? So the Neolithic times, around this time, though important development were the control of fire. The use of fire is not the same as control of fire. Okay, fire is happening, I have taken it out of it. And what you are doing, you are doing, you are using it as a tool, it is different. Hai. So I know we have talked about uh, uh, ergaster using fire also, but here you're controlling fire. You're scaling up and down as you need it. Plus you have got agriculture. So iske saath kya hota hai? what happens with this is, we say a cultural life starts. The beginnings of the cultural life and a social living. Up society banna shuru hota hai. Cultural life and social living. You live in groups. You don't always have to uh, wait for a hunt. You can grow crops eventually and store the food also. You can cook the food. You can preserve the food. The beginnings of the social and the cultural life of man. A very, very high level idea about evolution. Okay? Uh, iska question ek alag form mein poochhe ka, wo baad mein dekhenge hum log. Okay, very high level, you know how the man's evolution has okay, in terms of species. Uh, any questions here? Uh, Ravi, um, you'll have to catch up now with the pace, slowly, gradually. Uh, some of you life mein pehli baar likhna shuru kar rahe ho. I can understand the uh, trauma there. Okay, you chhod gaya, chhod gaya, aage jao. Move ahead. And we'll keep on adding as we are developing. All good here? All fine? Okay, let's move on. Okay, now some, uh, some uh, other facts. Uh, fourth ho gaya. The next one is fifth one. Keep writing, please. Fifth point. The origin of, the origin of human species the origin of human species and hominins. The origin of human species. Akib, it does not matter what I believe. Okay, this is debate. What is my opinion? 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 What is my And uh, do give us some credit. That's all. What is man evolved? What is my opinion? What is my opinion? What is my opinion? What is Okay, we have no idea on this. Okay, and whatever is, you will keep your idea. Okay, now you will write this point. 
ठीक है तो नेक्स्ट पॉइंट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट हियर द ओरिजिन ऑफ मैन एंड ह्यूमन इंस इन ऑल प्रोबेबिलिटी बिगैन फ्रॉम अफ्रीका द ओरिजिन द ओरिजिन इन ऑल प्रोबेबिलिटी बिगैन फ्रॉम अफ्रीका और अफ्रीका में भी प्रोबेबली फ्रॉम अराउंड लेक विक्टोरिया प्रोबेबली फ्रॉम अराउंड लेक विक्टोरिया सो आपको एक आइडिया देते हैं दिस इज अफ्रीका समथिंग लाइक दिस दिस इज इक्वेटर ओके समवेयर हियर यू हैव जस्ट मैंने समवेयर हियर Uh, we have uh, this lake victoria uh, around this okay uh, we have countries like uh, uh, uganda countries like uh, rwanda okay yes we also have uh, tanzania uh, for the northwards we also have kenya okay idhar aayenge to sudan hai okay so ye jo area hai from around lake victoria in all probabilities okay was the origin of yes burundi also correct okay the origin of the hominins and the human like species okay that's one point so and please keep jotting okay keep jotting and keep drawing keep sketching lake victoria uh, baki lakes bhi important hai but wo baad mein aa jaye we have a lake here called as uh, lake tanganaika we have a lake here called as lake nyasa okay yes lake uh, uh, tanga naika yahan par bhi species mile hain and lake nyasa n a y a s a tanga naika okay t a n g a n a y i k a tanga naika and lake nyasa lake nyasa okay so this is tanganaika this is lake nyasa lake nyasa is in a country called as malawi actually wo border hai country ka okay malawi malawi ka naya naam hai nyasa okay and tanganaika is tanzania they form the borders of uh, uh, the countries okay so probably the origin was around victoria around uh, parts of uh, central africa africa and uh, 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 from africa from africa uh, the human species and the hominins migrated out uh, from africa from africa the human species and the hominins hominins uh my grated out ab it is done ya ye theory hi hai nobody is very sure exactly about kya hua tha it's one of the theories is one of the uh, versions that we know that from africa okay the humans and the hominins they migrate out ye jo theory hai isko bolte hain o o a as in out of africa hypothesis this is called as out of africa hypothesis the beginnings of human species was from africa but iska ek counter bhi hai bolte nahi nahi ye hua hoga shayad but maybe there was a parallel evolution also going on in parts of southern china so unta hai out of china hypothesis okay ki china bhi ek place tha so it's like one version says that evolution ek jagah se hota hai and from there the life forms are spreading out other says not possible because of some conditions the same species can evolve from two places also okay so out of africa के साथ में आउट ऑफ चाइना भी हो रहा था एंड दे से दैट द मोंगोलॉइड्स हैव द रूट्स इन आउट ऑफ चाइना वाला हाइपोथेसिस ओके सो यू कैन ऐड दिस पॉइंट हियर नंबर सेवन 
Number seven is uh, there is there is there is also a realization. Uh, there is uh, also a, a realization, a realization that that uh, parallelly, parallelly, okay, a human species may have also evolved from parallelly human species may have also evolved from from china and spread towards and spread towards northern asia and the americas and spread towards northern asia and the americas do you all know this point that one of the most widespread of races are the mongoloids the sabse widespread hai you find mongoloids north america mein you find them in south america okay you enter central asian belt okay parts of afghanistan azerbaijan okay kazakhstan eastern siberia uh, southeast asia okay it's all mongoloid belts plus you also have the influence in parts of the southeast asia and south asia also so mongoloids are among the most wide spread of human species or human races rather okay so ye bhi ka idea hai that they may have okay originated from parts of china isko bolte hain out of china hypothesis but most agree that probably it was out of africa which is more likely to be correct ye sankit okay oh kya conditions hain uh, will not enter that uh, temperature hoga water hoga we'll have uh, some conditions of uh, landscape but forget about that debate okay out of china hypothesis and out of africa hypothesis the next point the next point that uh, modern species modern species evolved around modern species evolved around uh, 2 to 3 lakh years ago 2 to 3 lakh years ago and they started moving out of africa modern species evolved around 2 to 3 lakh years ago and they started moving out of africa around uh, 1 lakh to 1.5 lakh years ago 100000 or about 150000 years ago okay and remember ye jo movement hua tha in all probability the movement was more towards asia okay so now look at this so this is africa uh this is africa and uh, this is uh, uh, europe this is asia okay uh, sumatra and this is australia okay so uh, the beginnings is here from here there was some spread like this okay from here there was some spread like this also and this was the neanderthal man but jo main spread hua hai the main spread has been towards okay this maybe i'll use another color here okay so if this is the origin here okay one branch has gone like this this is the neanderthal man neanderthal man is at the roots of the western world and europe but what we are referring to is the migration which happened okay like this like this ye do alag arms hain okay so uh, the movement started ye to aur tha pehle ho chuka tha 
I'm talking about is this one here. This started, I said, around uh, you can say a hundred thousand uh, to hundred fifty thousand years ago. They probably came towards this area around uh, seventy thousand years ago. They probably came to this part, okay, around uh, uh, fifty. Uh, or around 60,000 years ago and they came here as uh, recent as around uh, 30,000 years ago. Okay, so India may, okay, they already had come around uh, 70,000 years ago, uh, Southeast Asia, okay, around 50 to 60,000 years ago and they come towards the islands of Pacific, as recent as around 30,000 years ago. And again, I said, all of these are very, very broad estimates. Or ye kaun move kiya honge? They were the first negritos. That's why debate hai na? Who does India belong to? If you trace it, India belongs to some of the most primitive tribes of India who came into India first. Probably the first, inko bolte hai, first nations bolte hai. The first nations are the earliest populations. The first nations are the earliest cultural groups. India ka first nations kaun hai? The Andamanis, the Nicobaris, the Birhor tribes. Okay, they are the first people to have come towards India. All done here? Manali ji pehle. Let's see. Uh, let me teach you a bit here. How do you draw maps? Okay. So Africa. Okay, don't draw anything like this and leave it. Okay, so it's a it's a insult to your subject. So you have the equator. We have a bulge like this. Okay. You have a cut here, slant here, come down like this, and yahan se seedha ni jana. Ye Africa lagega. Okay, what you generally do is this, and you'll do this. Iskam bolte hai, ice cream cone bolte hai. Okay, you can draw this line, and uh, you are happy. Okay, you'll not make an ice cream cone, please. Okay, isme agar aapne ye add kar diya, okay, to ye to elephant bhi ban jayega. Okay. Yes. So I hope you got Africa. Okay. You draw a bulge. You draw a bulge like this, a cut here, take a slant like this. For Yahase, try a slant like this. And Yahase, drop down, take them almost 90 degrees, drop down here. You have a flat cut here. It will look like Africa. Then this side. <laughs> This is Arabia. <coughs> Come down. Okay. This is India. Equator se cross mat kara dena. Even if we have Akhand Bharat wala ambitions. Okay. Isko yehi rakhna. Okay. And then from here you take a tail like this. And leave it here. We don't need the all details. All of you try. Uh, yes, the world world looks like a cat. Yes, I know. Talking to talking about you again. Yes, a cat playing that uh, woolen ball. Yes, try this, please, all of you. And two three round me ho jayega. First couple of rounds me uh, roti aisa hi banta hai. It looks like world map. Okay, dheere, dheere, okay then you get the proper circular shape. सबका बन जाए रोटी अच्छा बन गया मतलब पढ़ाई बहुत दिनों से हो रही है ओ आर इन बैठे हुए हो अपना बेल रहे हो दो हजार साइंस ऑफ कितना साल आपने डाला हुआ है ओके सो दिस रेक्टेंगल इज लाइक अरेबिया ओके देन ऑल द कंट्रीज हियर इराक ईरान पाकिस्तान इंडिया यू टेक इट डाउन म्यांमार थाईलैंड दिस स्ट्रेच मलेशिया uh, one loop, a second loop towards China, you can ignore this part here. Okay, this. Uh, in fact, I'll always recommend, uh, do not draw a complete world map. Uh, 
आप पार्ट बनाओ ना आदि बना रहे हैं आई एम वेरी स्मार्टली आई एम ड्रॉइंग सर दिस इज माई मैन छोड़ दो इतने में आंखें बना दो यहाँ पे बस पूरा बनाओ के जान लेंगे ना कि आता नहीं है इसके आगे सब पार्ट बनाना फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ योर डिस्कशन पार्ट मैप्स आर इनफ दे टेक लेस टाइम योर एरर्स आर नॉट इजेजरेटेड एंड लगता है कि आप कंट्रोल में हो जो बोलोगे बना दूंगा जोड़ना प्रॉब्लम है ओके okay. सर ये बना दिया ये क्या है सर माय फिंगर आपने बोला नहीं पूरा हाथ बना सारा बना देते हैं हम ठीक है यस ओके दिस क्या है सर इस आईज ऑफ मोनालिसा ओके ओके कम बैक हियर सो आई सेड लेक विक्टोरिया रीजन ओके लेक विक्टोरिया से ओके वन गोज लाइक दिस फॉरगेट अबाउट दिस पार्ट हियर ओके This is your Europe. मुझे कंसर्न है हाउ दे हैव मूव टूवर्ड्स दिस ओके यहां से आईलैंड हियर दे हैव कम टूवर्ड्स दिस एंड देन दे मूव टूवर्ड्स द पैसेफिक आईलैंड सो आई नीड टू नो वेन दे मूव आउट आई सेट अराउंड हंड्रेड थाउजेंड टू अबाउट वन फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ईयर्स ओके दे केम टूअर्ड दिस पार्ट अराउंड सेवेंटी थाउजेंड ईयर्स ये वाले पार्ट में अराउंड फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ईयर्स एंड दे कम टूवर्ड्स द पैसिफिक आईलैंड अराउंड थर्टी थाउजेंड ईयर्स आई होप यू नो पीपल ऑफ टोंगा नाउरु फिजी ओके दे हैव दिस एफ्रीकन रेशियल स्टॉक ओके एंड नॉट ऑल ऑफ देम केम रिसेंटली ओके हु आर द मेन पीपल ऑफ ऑस्ट्रेलिया पता है आपको they called as uh, aborigines yeah. aboriginals iska matlab kya hai mullawan ab origin is a generic word for any place ab means before before even the original so who are india's aborigines okay you have got sentinelies birhors andamanis nicobaris toda population palayan population irula uralis ye sare india ke aborigines hain to main puch raha hu australia ke kaun hai one people called as the bindibus bindibus they are called as the aborigines of australia theek hai they are the first पीपल द फर्स्ट नेशन बोलते हैं इनको नाउ दे आर लार्जली आउट नंबर्ड एंड मेनी ऑफ देम ओके हैव डाइड एक्सप्लॉयटेड एब्यूज विद द कॉलोनियल एक्सपेंशन ये बहुत कम रह गए हैं आई रिकमेंड ए मूवी टू ऑल ऑफ यू कॉल ऑस्ट्रेलिया यू मस्ट सी दैट मूवी इट्स अ ब्यूटिफुल मूवी ओके एंड अबाउट द Harassment, the problems, of course, uh, are on a fictional story. Partly, uh, the aborigines of Australia, the Bindibus. So, as a story uh, movie, hai about Africa, me there are people who live here called as the Bushmen. Uh, Bushmen. In ka bhi ek bada famous movie hai called as Gods Must Be Crazy. It's a lovely movie to watch. Some of these movies are very very entertaining plus informative also. You know about the people there. Yes, Kalahari Desert. Yes, the Bushmen of Kalahari. Correct. The Bindumus. Who are the people of New Zealand? Any name? Who are the people of New Zealand? Yes, Maoris. Yes, Maoris. Correct. Maoris. They they are the first nations of New Zealand. Uh, yes, Pooja. Tell me. Okay, Aman. uh all the details we know red indians of north america yes wo mongoloids hain wo ye nahi hai hum batayenge next aapko so these are this this is the origin of the negritos ye jo idhar aaye hain they are negritos okay they are dark skin short height woolly hair frail and light built most of them are hunters and gatherers they live in the forest ye jo movement hai this movement is of the negritos the negritos as a part of out of africa hypothesis 
They make up some of the most uh, primitive people. Yes, correct. The aborigines are called as the first nations. Yes, you're right. They're also called as the first nations. Out of Africa hypothesis. Okay. Continue. Next point. Uh, next point here. That uh, uh, the modern man's evolution. The modern man's evolution. With social life and agriculture. With social life and agriculture. Was post ice age. Was post ice age. From around 10,000 years. From around 10,000 years ago. Post ice age. From around 10,000 years ago. Within bracket Lico, The beginnings of the Holocene times. The beginnings of. The Holocene times. Rahul, Batai, I can see you. What did you ask me? Uh, Rahul, I may have missed your questions. I can see your uh, question now. Tell me. No, no, no. We, we, you will not be blocked. Okay. Utne level ka khurafati karo ge to alag baat hai. But abhi block karne wale level pe ho nahi aap. If tri tribes are still alive, what about it? Then who are we? <laughs> if you ask original tribes, then we are foreigners. Okay. So we are not the original ones. If I go by that logic. But who is it? Okay, yes. Sentinelles. Sentinels, nahi. Sentinelles. N E L E S E. Sentinelese are one of the most primitive uh, tribal groups of India in the Sentinel Islands. Okay? Then who are we? Bohat bada sawal hai. Iska to aapko Sadguru hi bata paenge ki tum kaun ho? Kyun aaye ho? Kahan se aaye ho? Okay. Kyun aana chahte ho? Kahan jaoge? What are aborigines? Are the first people of the place. The origin of the place are called as the aborigines. Can I move on all of you? Okay. So some of you are struggling with that geological time thing. I'll quickly tell you just the ones I need. Okay. So geological time scale. Mein, okay. We have... Uh, a time called as uh, Paleozoic, we have Mesozoic, we have uh, Cenozoic and Cenozoic era ko divide karte hain into the Tertiary and uh, uh, Quaternary and Quaternary ko divide karte hain okay, into uh, Pleistocene and into Holocene. The beginnings of Pleistocene approximately is around 2, 2.5 million years. This is the uh, beginnings of the Ice Age. And this boundary is 10,000 or 11,700 to be precise. So, yaad nahi hai, ya fair, you want to revise it. So, what I'm saying is, the actual modern man, you talk in terms of their agriculture and domestication, wo shuru hota hai from here. But man, the way we know evolved, even in this time, around 2-3 lakh years ago, yes, around Miocene times, correct. Okay, shuru ho chuka tha. So, we are talking about Holocene times. This is the time I am talking about. So, Paleolithic age is the first time. From here, we start 
the Neolithic times. Miocene is inside, okay, uh, here. Okay. Iske aur divisions hai. Uh, chhod do abhi, itna zaruvat nahi hai abhi. Okay. All fine here? So I'm talking about this time. From here, okay, so ye, uh, divisions mein, this is called as the era, this is called as the periods, okay, this is called as epoch. Okay, yaad nahi hai, to lik lo, then I can move on. All fine here? Okay. The next discussion. Aborigines are migrated once from the place, not born the place first time. Itna kya confusion hai? First people ke chhod do na. Okay. Itna, itna paragraph kyun likh rahe Who are aborigines? The first people, the earliest tribes are called as aborigines. Wo early ka kya early hai? Okay. Forget about it. Okay, Himan. Okay, let's move on. Okay, Harshit. So, what's the idea there? Okay, ab kya kya Anyways, the fact that you know. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's write it down. Uh, evolution of uh, man and the changes associated. Give a heading. Evolution of man and the changes associated. And the changes associated. The three, four things here. They go, um, uh, Homo habilis Homo habilis uh, and uh, Homo uh, erectus were among the first okay, uh, to climb down uh, from the trees and walk uh, in a biped locomotion means walking on two legs. Homo habilis and Homo erectus. They're among the first to climb down from the trees because pale, primates and apes would live on the trees. They're among the first to climb down from the trees and walk in biped locomotion. This is a very important part hai in evolution of man. Walk in biped ka matlab hai, walk on two legs. Now, this is okay, associated uh, with, with the coming of dry climatic conditions, conditions and, and uh, development of uh, savanna climate and landscape. Let me explain this to you. Likho pehle aap log. Write down first. Ye bahut important development hai. The Homo habilis and the Homo erectus were among the first to climb down from the trees and walk in biped locomotion, walking on two legs. Ye hua kaise? This was with the coming of the dry conditions. Dheere dheere conditions dry hoda chala gaya. And a type of climate was developing called as the savanna climate. Savanna climate is typical Africa. Ka hai. Otherwise, for a long time, Africa was wet. Africa was cold. Sahara desert was desert nahi tha. There was a time when Sahara was a wet region. Sahara had okay, swamps. Okay. And then things changed. So what happens is, when the landscape is dense, lot of trees, 
lot of plants okay then the life forms are living here niche aayenge nahi but when it becomes dry i have got trees and i have got grasslands grasses some bushes and then i have a tree here we have got open landscape okay so now you must climb down for hunting for food for living for chasing this is what is called as the savanna theory of man's evolution also called as the aridity theory also called as the savanna theory it's called as the aridity theory also called as the savanna theory of man's evolution that's one reason we say ki maybe because africa was developing the dry conditions first maybe because of that okay the development of human species happened there first okay it's called as the aridity theory a r i d i t y also called as the savanna theory the aridity theory or the savanna theory in the evolution of a human species because only then will you climb down start walking start hunting start chasing and your field of vision increases ab jo dur dekh sakte ho aap you can plan organize your hunt and the catch better uh, compared to when you are on the trees it's called as the aridity theory or the savanna theory okay continue next point online are you all with me online yes yes see when you start of a process and with any new teacher the fact is it will take you maybe one to two weeks to settle with my pace wo kahin bhi chale jao aap because every teacher has own way of teaching okay so patience rakho i'm going slow i'm dictating i'm writing i'm repeating okay be patient you will not leave anything eventually aur class khatam hone ke baad mein ye class notes aapko mil jayega on your portal Okay, the entire thing is there. Okay, miss kya hai? Go compare it. You'll not ultimately say anything. So, what support am I going to give you? Let's move on. The next point. Next point here is uh, associated, associated uh, uh, with uh, human species evolution are the following uh, physiological okay changes. man's body starts changing we call that as physiological changes the changes in the human body physio logical in your bodily functions associated with the human species evolution associated with the human species evolution uh, rahul uh, zyada expert kar rahe ho na ek to aap uh, uh, aaye ho only for one or two days aapko sara notes bhi chahiye okay abhi ab class dekh lo mera chehra dekh lo pasand aaye to theek hai uh, uh, notes ko hum sambhal ke rakhenge yes associated with the human species evolution are the following physiological changes how do the human body change okay five six of them number one is okay s a shaped spine i hope you know your spine jo hai wo perfectly straight thodi hai it is a s shape okay from cervix your neck okay to your lumbar and coccyx okay so it's a s shaped spine iska advantage kya hai balance okay it helps you balance it helps you manage your walk s shaped spine okay it includes it includes a uh, biped a uh, locomotion walking on two legs it includes a stereoscopic vision means your eyes are in front and you can perceive depth better 
मोस्ट ऑफ द कार्मी वो जो हंट करते हैं मोस्ट ऑफ देम देवाइज द फ्रंट टाइगर लाइन ओके बिकॉज साइड में द डेफ परसेप्शन आर नॉट एज गुड सो मैन का आईज सामने आ गया है वी कैन परसीव डेफ बेटर वी कैन चेज बेटर ठीक है इट्स कॉल्ड एज स्टीरियोस्कोपिक विजन स्टीरियोस्कोपिक विजन ओके एस शेप स्पाइन बाइपेड लोकोमोशन एंड स्टीरियोस्कोपिक विजन ओके आईज इन फ्रंट फॉर परसेप्शन ऑफ डेफ डी ओपोजिबल थम ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है यस लुक एट योर पाम योर हैंड योर फोर फिंगर्स टर्न लाइक दिस योर थम टर्न लाइक दिस ओके दिस हेल्प अस इन होल्डिंग टूल्स एंड मैनिपुलेटिंग इट इज कॉल्ड एज ओपोजिबल थम दिस हेल्प इन ओके वर्किंग विद द टूल्स ओपोजिबल थम it includes larger uh, cranial capacity if you look at the weight of the brain and the body like okay, man ka highest ratio hai larger cranial as in brain ka size you can think more this basically means now you are a thinking man logical reasoning you can plan you can reason cranial ka matlab hota hai brain Okay, C R A N I A L, cranial capacity, and not just this. Is me you also have uh, denture, your teeth. Okay, we have all the types, right? You have got the cutting teeth, incisors. Okay, you have got canines, you have got premolars and molars, cutting teeth. Okay, you have got tearing teeth. You have got grinding teeth. Its advantage क्या है? You can eat any type of food. Okay, it 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 expands it expands the range of food to be eaten. It gives a better chances of okay surviving in odds. So we have a omnivorous diet. Omnivorous का मतलब क्या है? We can eat anything. denture the dental formula the denture okay it expands the range of food that we eat theek hai and uh, it gives us omnivorous diet it gives us omnivorous diet okay aur iske upar mein okay what we happened was that we started okay a use of fire uh, or we started a uh, group living okay we also developed languages and skills of communication यूज ऑफ फायर प्लस एग्रीकल्चर ये तो हमारा अल्टीमेट कवच है द बेस्ट ओके गार्ड अगेंस्ट ऑल ऑर्ड दिस इज द रेंज ऑफ मॉडिफिकेशन विच हैज हेल्प्ड मैन लिव द वे ही डज लैंग्वेज एंड स्किल्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन क्लोथ इंपॉर्टेंट थोड़ी है कनिष्क ओके वो पहने नहीं पहने वो आप जाने आपके आसपास लोग जाने ओके आप कूल ड्यूट हो जो भी हो क्लोज इज नॉट मोर इंपॉर्टेंट वन क्लोज वैसे भी आदमी अपने लिए कम पहनता है उसमें ज्यादा पहनता है यूज ऑफ फायर यूज ऑफ फायर इन एग्रीकल्चर ग्रुप लिविंग लैंग्वेज एंड स्किल्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन जो फर्स्ट सेट है दिस वन इज मोर ऑफ बॉडी चेंजेस दिस इज मोर बायोलॉजिकल दिस इज मोर फिजियोलॉजी वेर एज ये जो है 
this is social and this is cultural this is social and this is cultural changes isi ko bolte hain what's called as a human ecological adaptations this all together is part of it's part of uh, a human human uh, ecological adaptations adaptation ye aapke syllabus mein hai mentioned hai. how did man adapt himself partly because of the bodily changes but a big role of social and cultural changes social and cultural changes anybody else any questions here anybody else any questions here online second last point group living living in groups aapka society ban raha hai living in groups the development of societies the development of societies nobody will stop writing samajh mein aaye nahi aaye notes likhenge aap if you miss some words leave that and write the next word okay you not stop writing you keep on jotting okay anybody else anybody else here okay fine now an important point here is that man's man's uh, a spread man's a spread and migration uh distribution was partly from africa and explained under ooa man's spread and migration distribution was from africa and explained under under ooa what's ooa out of africa hypothesis out of africa ha ah, janvi is called as human ecological adaptation yeah thank you manshu thank you okay plus plus migrations migrations also happened happened during the uh, interglacial times during the interglacial times when when eurasia was uh, linked to americas migration keep writing please migration also happened during the interglacial times hum samjhayenge kya hai interglacial times when eurasia was linked to americas across the uh, bering strait yes across the bering strait across the bering strait likh liya aapne all of you ye to hai samajh mein aa gaya i'm talking about starting from uh, one lakh years or 150000 years ago shuru hua and we happened but ye bhi reality hai the migrations of human species had also started in the ice age okay when we had some connection between 
Eurasia and Americas. Okay? So what we have is this. Uh, this is Eurasia. Okay, this is China, Vietnam and the rest. And on this side we have Americas. Is passage to kya bolte hai? Okay. This is East Siberia. East Siberia. What I'm saying, there was a time when this was joined. Because it was cold conditions, ice wise swa hoga joined tha. So from parts of China, uh, people moved out like this into the Americas, across Bering Strait, Alaska. They become part of North America and part of South America. Okay, so I am presuming you know what part I am drawing. This is North America and this is South America. That's how we have the Mongoloid populations of North and South America. And what about Incas? Incas of Peru? Ye Mongoloid races. The. Okay. You may have heard about Red Indians. It's actually a derogatory word. Okay, but okay, they also are Mongoloids. What about Eskimos? Eskimos kaha par hai? Okay, yes, but where? Which country? Canada, Alaska. Okay, so these people are also Mongoloid races. Okay, they, they spread like this. They went on like this. These are Mongoloid races. Hai. This is Siberia. Siberia is all Mongoloid races. So, from China, this is the out of China hypothesis. Some amount of spread of human civilizations, or rather human population. Nazca kaan se aagya ya? Nazca is a, a plate. Okay, aap, hum kuch aur baat kar rahe hai. Okay, so, so these people spread out because this part was kind of a land bridge. Land bridge, frozen tha. You could walk across. In fact, not just man, a lot of life forms also went here. Uh, originally, horses, pigs, sheep were not in Americas. They all have gone from Asia into Americas. All fine? Okay. Now, what we are saying is, ice age thana, the Ice Age, this was very, very, very cold. Okay. Uh, uh, very, very frozen. There were ice shelves and ice caps. But ice age ke under, there were moments when it was relatively less cold. Okay. So, uh, from around uh, 2.5 uh, 2 million years, say, right up to almost 10,000 years. Tak. Ye ice age tha? But the Ice Age was not uniformly cold. There were times when it was a bit less cold. A time when there was a bit less cold. A time when it was a bit more warmer. This warm face ko bolte hai interglacial periods. But I am saying relatively warm ka matlab kya hai? Abhi bhi Ice Age hi hai. But not as cold. That is when some species start evolving. Man also starts. Here is man hen already. Man is there since 3 lakh years ago. Okay. So, these beach beach ka interglacial phases. Hai. These are relatively, relatively warmer times. So, in warmer times, mein, they would move out and they would again occupy new areas. Because in the cold times, this is what I'm saying. The interglacial phases may there was a lot of migration of the human species to parts of Americas. Is it okay, all of you? Is it fine? Or ye interglacial species a times ka naam bhi hai. Okay. Um, yeah, let's leave it. Why, why mess up? Yes, they were largely Mongoloids. Yes. So, do you hear this sentence? What I'm saying? I'm saying 
माइग्रेशंस आल्सो हैपन ड्यूरिंग द इंटर ग्लेशियल टाइम तो समझ में ओके व्हेन यूरेशिया वाज लिंक्ड टू अमेरिकास अक्रॉस द बेरिंग स्ट्रेट व्हेन यूरेशिया वाज लिंक्ड टू अमेरिकास अक्रॉस द बेरिंग स्ट्रेट ओके दिस व्हाट बिकम्स पार्ट ऑफ out of china hypothesis they have crossed from here into the north and the south americas uh, i hope all of you have bought your textbook with you okay online you all have your book this is of course edition 5 uh, you can buy 5 or 6 whatever you want theek hai aapko hum bas do page bata dete hain and uh, tomorrow i'll discuss this in detail i'm just mentioning one or two pages ek to ye wala page hai uh in your in your book ab dekho ek aadh page aage piche hoga page 7 to 2 dekho man and his immediate okay antecedents in the crawl of you uh, in my book it is page 72 aapke book mein kaun sa page hai 72. 72? Okay, doesn't change much then. ठीक है? So you have got uh, uh, Gibbons का branch. Okay, you have got Gibbons, orangutan, chimpanzees, and this is the okay beginning of man, Homo erectus, Neanderthal man, Homo sapiens. Okay, बहुत details हैं. Okay, just to have a sense of understanding. and then we have the neolithic culture 10000 years ago dikh raha hai aapko ye wala 10000 years ago approx hominid which is along with great apes and the branching so gibbons are part of a part of a hylio batidae dikh raha hai ye wala this branch pura alag ho gaya okay a uh, pongidae this becomes your orangutans and hominidae se you have got homo erectus and the rest Fine. Just have an idea. Online, are you all with me? Page number seventy-two in Human Geography by Majid Hussain. You will see it. Plus, for the sake of appreciation, uh, you could see this map of page number sixty-nine. Okay, of page sixty-nine. Uh, so the origin from africa and africa say how they have moved towards south asia southeast asia like this and we also have some branch going towards europe but this is the more important one for us theek okay? hai so it's about dispersal of early hominids it doesn't say out of africa hypothesis you have an idea aur isi ke baad mein next page mein hai no iske previous page mein hai Oh, wait. Yeah, here. Sorry, page seventy-five. देखो. You can see how ये अलग टाइप का प्रोजेक्शन है. Okay, this is North America, South America. Uh, from Asia, they cross the Bering Strait into America. दिख रहा है ये वाला? ये अलग प्रोजेक्शन है. Okay, so from China, from this part here, you can see Peking. This part here. From here, they, this is the Bering Strait यहाँ पर ऊपर है. Sorry. Bering Strait is here. From here they cross into North America and South America. Yes, as it. Okay, it's a different type of a map, so you might have. You all are used to seeing that America is on your right hand side. Okay, that's one way of showing the world map, and that's how the Mongoloid. Okay, how they have spread. Mongoloid have spread like this. Here also Mongoloid is. Here also Mongoloid is. ओके ये इंडियन जो लिखा है दिस आल्सो इज द इंडियन ऑफ द अमेरिकन द रेड इंडियंस यस 
ये वाला है एंड यू कैन सी नेगरीटोज हियर नेगरीटोज हियर ओके द्रविडियन हियर दिस इज फ्रॉम दिस साइड दे आर स्प्रेडिंग टुवर्ड्स साउथ एंड साउथ ईस्ट एशिया पेज नंबर 77 That's all. Abhi, do not read the text right now. I'll let you know uh, eventually. But uh, have a sense of how the movements happen. We are still in a very very early phase of a study. Oops, sorry. Online is that fine? Okay. So today we have picked up some gear. Uh, we continue tomorrow then. Same time, twelve o'clock. Revise and come. बाय बाय बाय